Former Olympians, International Olympic Committee Vice President John Coates and Paralympics Australian CEO Lynn Anderson are among those attending a relighting of the Olympic cauldron in Sydney to mark the 20th anniversary of the 2000 Olympic Games, which was held in the city. There are plans to proceed with the 2021 Tokyo Games, even if the coronavirus will mean a much reduced crowd and changes to events. Here's more about the discussions underway. Yeah, we are. We're proceeding on the basis that um, it's to go ahead um, with COVID um, and depending how much COVID, to what extent. The, the new cases, in, fortunately, in Japan less than Victoria each day. Look, the safety of athletes always plays on our mind, but no, these athletes, as are their Olympic counterparts, they're driven. You know, they, there was a huge disappointment for everybody when the games were um, postponed. It was the right call, everyone understood that. But you know, some of these athletes have put years and years of their life away, ready to be at their peak performance in um, August, September this year, now. So, you know, I think they've all gone through the grieving process. Um, recalibrated and now focused on being at peak performance next year. But that's what athletes do. As John is doing is we've got to keep these athletes focused. You know, it'll be a huge crime if, if we waver and let them waver and then the games go ahead next year and they're not ready. You know, at, at the core of it, every athlete has a right to come to us with any concerns they've got. And in our world in particular, not all disabilities, but some disabilities are more susceptible. So just like John, we're going through layer upon layer of COVID mitigation plans. Um, but, you know, if you ask me, do the athletes want to go and perform and represent their country? Yes, they do.